Well, hello everyone, Dr. Matthews here. Hey, today I wanted to share with you in this short tutorial how to add quizzes to your course. Now, in this particular course, I'm going to just simply uh, click on the modules. Once I've done that, I can scroll down to where it is that I want to add my quiz. Now, this is much like all the other YouTube videos that you might have seen or been uh, or are familiar with. It's just going to kind of walk you through uh, the process. There's plenty of other YouTube videos that will show you how to get a test bank into your course. And Canvas itself has a number of videos uh, that it uh, shares uh, freely for you to get a test bank into, um, into your course itself. So here I'm at chapter 15 of my course. This happens to be a criminal investigations course, and so I want to add a quiz. I first click on to the plus. I change this from assignment to quiz. You can see that you have a number of other choices here, but since I'm adding a quiz, that makes it much easier. If you already have a pre-existing quiz, say from another course uh, or another version of this course, you can certainly pick that, but in this case I do not, so mine is a new one. I'm going to give it a simple name and just call it quiz 15. What I want my quiz to jump into is the is just the uh, uh, test group. You have a number of other choices you can use, of course, and uh, for quiz, of course, this is what you want to do. I also want to indent just a little bit so it stands out just a bit from the rest of the material that's in the course. Once my quiz has been created, or at least the shell, I'll click on the quiz and I'll go to edit. After I hit edit, the quiz uh, part will come up for me. And the first thing I want to do is add in my instructions for what I want my students to be able to do. Once I've added in my instructions, then I'm going to set up this shell for the quiz itself. It is a graded quiz. You have choices here. Practice quiz, graded quiz, graded survey, and ungraded survey. Mine is graded quiz. It's part of the test group. I want to shuffle the answers and give them a time limit of 20 minutes. It's only 10 questions, so it shouldn't take them 20 minutes to do it. However, I'm also going to give them uh, two chances to take this quiz or to do well on it. And as you'll note, the, the score that they'll keep will be the highest, although I could say just keep the latest score or even average the two scores. And then finally, uh, after their last attempt, they get to see what the questions are, and I want the questions to appear one question at a time. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this, but primarily it's just to uh, save the space on the screen, and it really focuses the student a little bit easier uh, in on the quiz itself. I'm going to make this quiz available on uh, today's date, and I'm going to leave it available until about here, I think and then done. Now I'm not quite done yet. This is just kind of the front page of the quiz, if you will. Next thing you need to do is get into the guts. So the guts for me is going to be the questions. You can add a new question one question at a time. You can look for questions if you want, but I'm going to pull mine from a question group. I already have this question, uh, this question bank rather, uh, already uploaded into my course. And so it'll be that much easier. I'm not going to change the group name because that's not too important to me. I'm going to have 10 questions worth one point each come from a question bank. Now this is quiz 15, so I've already gone through and done some of the heavy lifting. What I did was when I pulled in the publisher's question bank, I went through and, and scanned through it. Now the publisher had shared 45 different types of questions. What I really wanted was just the multiple choice questions for my quizzes. So I uh, simply copied that and then deleted all the ones I didn't want, creating this new quiz uh, bank. And coincidentally, I just named it quiz bank. I'll select that quiz bank because it coincides with that chapter. And then I would think I'm done, but I'm not. The next thing you have to do is create a group. Sometimes if you're going along too quickly and you just skip that part and you don't create a, a group, Everything you've done is going to be lost. Let me just show you that part. So I'll say save, and it's going to jump me out. But the way, rate, the way I know that there's nothing there is there's no points. So again, let me go back into my quiz. Go back into my questions. Go back into the question group. Ten questions. Link it to the group. 
find my question bank of chapter 15 and then create the group. Once you create the group it's also going to kind of reinforce what is going to happen here. Questions are going to be pulled from this question bank picking 10 questions one point per question. Now you're just about done. Go ahead and save and publish and on the front screen you'll see you've got 10 points your test is there and everything's ready. Just to make sure you can preview it and when you do you'll see this is a, another good reason to have just one question at a time. You've got 10 questions that you're going to be uh, asking. One question gives a, an opportunity for the student to focus in on that single question before they move on to the next one. Okay, well that's all there is to creating a, a quiz or pulling a quiz into your course. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and uh, thanks a lot.